Hi guys, I'm at the hotel right now in Warsaw next to the airport with my mom and uh, we're just going to get something to drink because we really deserve it. I just found out that I'm COVID negative once again. I redone my test just before the flight so everything is sorted. I can fly to Dubai and then to Cape Town. So um, I'm gonna vlog in a minute of what we're drinking. All right, I'm heading to the lobby just now. We're gonna get something nice. The hotel is really nice, I must say. It's the Warsaw Marriott one. Um, so if you guys are interested in ever saying Warsaw, please go ahead. This one is a very nice one. <sighs> okay guys, so I'm now in the lobby waiting for my wine. And uh, we started our day at around five o'clock. Uh, we had quite a journey to get to the capital, the Warsaw Airport and Embassy. And uh, I didn't have a chance to vlog because I just was so, so nervous and tired because um, I was getting my test results for COVID on the way to Warsaw already. Uh, so we were so, so stressed of how it's gonna go. Um, even though I was quarantining, you never know with those tests if you're positive or negative, no matter what you do. So it was quite a stress, I must admit. So now we can just unwind and relax. We're gonna have a nice dinner later on. So I'll take you with me. And I hope you guys are well. Um, I'm just gonna have some rest now, drink some wine with my mom, have some quality time with her because we both really, really need it because probably we will not see each other for a while due to the obvious. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna finish at that point now and see you guys later our wine just arrived my mom is sitting right here hello mommy <laughs> i love you <laughs> yeah so the hotel is very very nice i must admit just like i told you guys this is my first time staying here and i really like it and they have such nice stuff um all the people here are very nice but guys can you acknowledge the ghost town in here it's literally empty and the airport is empty as well i'm gonna show you later on when i get to the airport tomorrow morning but it's so empty i've never seen a hotel so empty before to be honest so yeah of course masks were on the table but here we go bon appetit Okay guys, I went for security. Hello, you can see me here in the mirror. Um, I cried so much, so I only was able to start filming now. So I'm at the Tom Ford counter and I'm really thinking of getting roast prick actually. Uh, I already have um, my beautiful favorite Chanel Eau Fresh in my hand to be purchased. Beautiful deal in here in Warsaw Airport. So I think, I really, really hope they would have Soleil Blanc, not, not the older Soleil Blanc, which I already have. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate, but I might get into Rose Brick in a second. Um, if you have any other recommendations, let me know. But yeah, and also they don't have much niche in here, but they have some uh, Guerlain, um, this, you know, beautiful bottle range. But I'm not that very interested in it. They have um, new aqua allegorias. I'm actually thinking of getting coconut fizz because I don't have it yet and um, I'm sure it's gonna be nice but the longevity is not gonna be so good I suppose. So yeah maybe some makeup. I don't know guys I'm so so confused right now. I cannot handle myself. <laughs> Um, I really like those Rouge Volupt um, lipsticks, so maybe I'll get into that now. Let's see what else they have in here. Some lippies. Where are the new things? Oh, actually, my way. I know it's like a typical Chubaro, sweet bubble gummy Chubaro's. It kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Mancera Velvet Vanilla but um, you know I love the bottle and actually I really like the perfume so maybe I'll purchase it as well um, but I I think I will hold on and uh, check the prices in Dubai because I still have 
to go through Dubai airport and I'm sure it's gonna be way more interesting than just this there's some toes which I'm not a fan of I actually do need some skincare uh, to be completely honest with you uh, and maybe some makeup because why not I can see they have this new highlighters but do they have the newest ones I don't know and those lip glow oils also are very very tempting because you know I love me some nice lippy moisturizer so I might get that actually last time I was here exactly a year ago I purchased this one from here they have a great price it's only 153 zloty which is around uh, $60 if I'm not mistaken so yeah um, very good price uh, what else they have here oh this is my favorite favorite moisturizer so I'm getting that for sure without a doubt I love it um, they also have some nooks body which I also really really love um, so I'll probably get one of these my bag is so so heavy at the moment but that's fine um, it would never stop me from shopping would it uh, here we have some contemporary Pacaraban nothing really interesting to be completely honest with you I was really hoping that they would have some niche um but yeah that's fine that's fine i'm sure that dubai will have a lot more niche fragrances and those private blends as well uh, of course our favorite who watches me you know this is my favorite perfume i mean at least one of my favorites and they have the newest Le Mans. but yeah i'm not i'm not getting anything for my boyfriend anymore if you got so many perfumes from me i'm not gonna carry it i promise myself that um so yeah actually this roberto cavalli is so expensive here um as you can see it's like 337 pln and i got it from 100 which is 20 dollars 20 bucks so duty free is not a duty free anymore have you guys noticed it um to me it's not really a great deal uh, on duty frees anymore unless they have some specials and this Chanel one actually is a nice deal because it's 100 milliliters for 400 zloty which is $100 so it's not that bad but the rest I'm like really guys really there's bare minerals um, I'm also not a fan of bare minerals but I'm definitely a fan of benefit brow products so I might get myself some because you can never have enough of them. I have them everywhere. I absolutely love them. So what else they have here? This is literally like a massive benefit counter, uh, which I really like because you can even do your brows in here by a lady. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna get some uh, brow setter because they literally have the best brow gel in the universe. Um, the rest of their makeup I'm not the biggest fan of, but you know, we all have our favorites. You know, I love Dior and Laura Mercier when it comes to my um, skin makeup, so to speak. They have some natural... Oh, actually guys, this is very interesting. This is a Polish brand counter, most of them at least. And they have such amazing products, especially these ones. Um, the brand is called Cloche or Cloche or Cloche, I don't know. Um, but if you ever encounter this brand, this is a Polish brand and they have beautiful, beautiful, natural vegan products, which I really like. This face mist right here, this one is very, very nice. I have it at home at my mom's house. Um, what else? some skincare, some body care. This is also a Polish brand. I really like that um, this airport really, really pushes on Polish brands, especially when it comes to skincare. So that's really nice to see you guys. Uh, you know, at least we have something to be proud of in here, in this country. Uh, Coco Mademoiselle, um, I still have a lot of it. Uh, in my suitcase so I might skip on that but you never know backups are nice aren't they um, and yeah the Chanel counter I was actually hoping they would have um, a special Le Beige highlight so I might ask a lady to get me some so stay tuned for that I'll show you what I bought 
Okay, so they did not have my highlight, but I am at the skincare counters now and I really do need some serum for my face because uh, I didn't even get on a flight yet and my skin is so dry. It's ridiculous, guys. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it was the AC in the car, but it's never happened to me that my skin was so, so dry. Uh, I feel so dehydrated. My lips are so small right now because of dehydration, even though I drank so much water. I don't know what's happening. Uh, let's see what I have in here. There is our more common things. Oh, actually, I really like these bits. Um, these are jellies for your hair and they're very, very good. I used to use them all the time when I was in Poland, these ones and the flamingo ones. So if you ever encounter them or see them on the internet, because I'm sure they're available uh, internationally, just get them, just get them and trust me, they're so, so good. And I love Rituals brand. So I'm thinking whether I should get um, the Biotherm, yeah, the Biotherm body lotion or maybe something from the Rituals, we'll see. Uh, but I do have some stash on me uh, to get on a plane and shower in Dubai. Uh, I do have some minis, but I might get some more stuff. Oh my God, L'Occitane. I love L'Occitane, guys. Um, one of my favorites, definitely. And I love their shower gels. I love their oils. I love their hand creams. So I actually might get me some of these, because why not? Why, why not? So yeah, I might also get to the Origins counter uh, because, you know, I'm a big, big fan, but I can see that they do not have my favorite face masks, the green one. Um, so I don't know. I'm just going to browse and see um, if I pick up something. I just want to show you this. This is a travel hygiene kit where you get a few masks, um, some wipes and gloves. Really, really cute. I guess it's helpful. I don't know. What do you guys see? Um, thoughtful of them that they provide the masks themselves as well, you know? Okay, so I just landed in Dubai. I looked like crap. And there was no better spot for the pimple to come up, was it? Um, anyways, uh, I'm gonna find my connection place for the flights and go shopping again and get some shower, go to the lounge, drink champagne. And have fun hey my lovelies so okay let me switch the camera now it's good so now i am in dubai on duty free and this one is way 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 better than the one in poland and guys i am so torn now i'm at the skincare counter because i need a serum but in general i am so so torn um they have a brand new um christian dior private blend collection and they have old rosewood which is only available um, I'm, I'm showing you Tom Ford and I'm talking about Christian Dior, but that's fine. You get my drill. So um, it's like a very, very private collection of um, Christian, as you guys probably know. And uh, Oud Rosewood will be only available in Dubai, Paris and a few other places. I cannot remember which ones. I'm so tired. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really thinking. I have it on my hand right now. Um, and I'm just, I keep sniffing it. Um, so here we have Mikalev, 20% off guys. Uh, the deals here are just fantastic, I must admit. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, here we have Montau. And um, I haven't come across many places where you can actually sniff Montau. I'm not sure if they have testers here as well. Uh, the prices are quite fine they're not as bad as i thought they would be uh, i do already have rose's mask i have rose elixir these are my two favorites and of course um intense cafe and of course creed is here as well uh, guys what do you think about creed i know there are there are some issues with their perfumes um they're struggling a lot as i heard um i've never had any creed perfume but i really do like um royal princess oud which i don't think they have in here actually uh, but anyways um tell me what you think in the comments below uh what you think about creed uh because i've never been very much interested i don't even love the bottles you know what i mean if i am paying so much money for uh you know 
for the bottle and for the perfume, I need to love the bottle. I just need to love it. Uh, so yeah, that that's my take on it. Uh, to be honest, so Creed has never been uh, any of my favorites. And uh, guys, uh, here is SK2. I've always been quite interested in that. Uh, it is a quite expensive brand, but uh, I don't know if it's worth it. Tell me in the comments below as well if you have and love SK2. What would you guys recommend me? I have so much time here at the airport, so I guess I'm just gonna browse through them. Uh, they have the serums and these ultimate revival cream i heard many good things about it as well as this line especially the facial treatment essence um so yeah i'm really really thinking about that and uh yeah i'm just gonna go through this uh so i'm thinking about uh, rose rosewood oud from Christian Dior or Rouge Trafalgar but I don't know how uh, Rouge Trafalgar holds up oh guys okay I think we have I mean we might have a winner um, <laughs> Maison Lancôme I love it I love the presentation of these bottles I might be interested I might I might actually sniff some of these um and i think i'm actually gonna get angel nova uh, i really like this perfume i'm really into it so i will be sure of getting that one from the designer section what else do we have here lancome there's nothing that i'm really interested in uh, another lancome a lot of lancome in here uh, valentino cartier uh, what else do we have here? Armani, oh, Golan. Um, the exposition is still not as massive as I thought it would be. So these are the perfumes from Christian Dior Paris, um, the Maison Christian Dior. Uh, if you have any of your favorites in here, let me know. I want all the comments you can give me, guys. I'm very much interested. So yeah, um, I was thinking about Ambre Nuit, but on me, at least a little bit too masculine. Then we have uh, Gris Dior, which is also beautiful. Rouge Trafalgar, and then we have the new one, which is I think here yes Oud Rosewood if you live in Dubai or Paris you have a lot of access to it so you don't have to worry about that uh, but other countries and cities might be actually um, you know you might not get it there um, same with South Africa I might not get it in my new hometown so maybe I should get it there um, I will probably get a smaller bottle though and that's it. I do have my Angel Nova. Let me just switch the camera. Uh, okay, so here is the Gucci. Um, I don't even know how to call it. The, the expensive, crazy looking range. It looks so beautiful, guys. So, so beautiful. Um, I don't even want to know the price of these bottles, to be honest, but uh, they have Gucci Guilty Oud, the, the very much raved about one. Um, and then they have all the Blooms collection right here. Um, then we have again the Guerlain's, uh, but to be honest, I don't think I'm going to go for Guerlain because Guerlain you can get anywhere. Even if you don't get it, um, you know, stationary, you can get it online. Then we have Zara, not my thing at all. Um, and then we have Amouage. Uh, I know my friend Moon Perfumes was raving about Amouage Love Sugars, and it, they actually do have it. Um, so I don't know. I have it on my hand at the moment, so we will see how it goes. But yeah, Angel Nova I'm getting for sure. And the rest, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so this is how it looks like from the top. I'm definitely not going to the candy land. No, 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 no. Um, I'm gonna get some lunch now, but still browse through the perfume shops because 
you know me i need some new content so i need to buy some more perfumes so that's what i'm gonna get yes buy. i love the sakura so about the collection yes if you already have like most of the intense fragrances sometimes yeah. we change our mood when it comes to scent yeah it's like a mood of how we want to wear a fragrance so i'll give you the grease Dior, which is or fresh, perfect. something to contradict with the fragrances that you have, especially the one that you're getting is the Santal Noir. Perfect. So guys, so uh, you. just to let you know, I'm talking to my audience, uh, I picked Santal Noir, but I was really hesitant between Ambre Nuit, Sakura, and Spice Blend. They're all beautiful, but I finally chose Santal Noir, thanks to my lovely Dior family here in Dubai. Thank you guys so much. You are wonderful to me, and I hope to see you guys guys again yes, again all right so i am here with my dior family here in dubai and uh there is a new perfume that's not in the market uh yet and could you please say a few words about it yeah the new jador that we are launching is infinissima yeah the meaning is like it's an endless uh, flower yeah so it's uh, sensual and full of uh, characteristic of being a feminine and it's a celebration of being a woman. Wow, amazing. And I absolutely love all those blend fragrances, the private line. I, they are absolutely gorgeous. And I finally went for Santa Noir, which I'm going to enjoy so much. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful boutique. The display is absolutely amazing. So if you guys are in Dubai airport, check it out because the family of Dio is absolutely wonderful. Finally, I got to lounge because I was um, shopping for like three hours, maybe even four. <laughs> Insane. And it's um, around 1 a.m. right now, maybe even later. And I scored so much. Okay, so don't mind my wine. I had to. Uh, so I got some shower thingies, my favorite L'Occitane ones. And guys, I got a beautiful gift from Dior team with a little note. We love you. I love you too, guys. I'm going to show it to you later. And uh, I have a gorgeous thing in here. Cannot wait to share it with you as well. As I said, I got Angel Nova and I got the Chanel. So. I just wanted to show you how the food now looks like in lounges. <laughs> Everything is packed. At least it's warm. But yeah, I'm having some tomato pasta and a salad and a chocolate pudding, which I'm going to hate for sure. Um, but the whole lounge uh, is completely empty. You cannot have a buffet or anything, unfortunately, due to Corona. But the bar is open, so thumbs up for that. 